How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffle Rowlett, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, ladies and gents, we've got ourselves loads of stuff to talk about right before the Pokemon Presents happens. So I'm literally recording this a few hours before the Presents, so if you see this, well, this is our, like, weird, almost prediction of stuff to come. But either way, let's get right into it. Starting things off, we have this post right here from Pori Leaks. Now, Pori Leaks, if you don't know, uh, it's just kind of like a bunch of memers, a bunch of uh, people that just kind of, you know, sometimes they post legitimate stuff, sometimes they, or oftentimes they also just post a bunch of memes. So basically, they found this presents Pokemon presents leak on 4chan. And the interesting part is that the actual leak has gotten a few things correct so far. So let's look through what the actual whole like leak or rumor, whatever you want to call it. Remember, none of this is confirmed. Um, you know, I mean, some of it is actually weirdly enough with this one. And this one might actually be real. This might be one of those like actually legitimately real Pokemon leaks. So here's what it starts off with. It says... Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers DX. Remake of Explorers of Time, Darkness, and Sky. Demo available March 23rd. This sounds exactly like what I've been saying. I said this in my video from yesterday on the 26th. I specifically pointed this out. I specifically said, I think we might get a remake of Explorers of Time, Darkness, and or Sky. I said this. I literally predicted this personally. I, I said this, I think, is a high possibility. So this person or this individual is saying that that is real, apparently. But also, they're you know, just including it there, which could also be that maybe they've, they've heard people speculating about it already, and that's why they're just faking it, right? By the way, the next thing is Detective Pikachu Returns would be the name of the new game. Basically, sequel to Detective Pikachu game and downloadable uh, episode cases starting in summer of this year. Um, which is interesting. Now, the interesting part about this one is we actually do know that Detective Pikachu is still in development, and I'm not talking about the movie, we're talking about the second game. Um, we know it's in development because one of the people over at Creatures, the company that makes all the 3D models and also who created Detective Pikachu, um, they specifically said it's still, like, one of the devs said it's still in development, that they're taking their time because they want to make sure that the graphics of the game look top-notch. So that's that. Here is the one that actually is confirmed now. Pokemon Cafe Remix, Paldean starters are added. Now, that is very interesting. Now, this was again posted by Pori Leaks today, okay? And apparently today we got a confirmation, and you guys can see it right here. Uh, he says here, Paldean Pokemon just got added to Cafe Remix. Hmm, still a reach. Well, guess what? Yes, Sprigatito, Fuecoco, and Quoxley were added in there. Now, I don't know if they were added how big of a distance there is between this post being posted and then this stuff being announced. But again, this is all just the, the stuff that leads towards this being possibly real. The next thing that's actually confirmed now is that Pokemon Unite, it says Zacian is available to play in Pokemon Unite, which is crazy because apparently that has been confirmed too. He says right here, okay, so now it's two for two. Unite thing is real. The Cafe Remix is real. And it's still not enough info though. They continue on though. Pokemon Go Gimme Ghoul event. Send postcards from Pokemon Go to Skull and Violet to get a sparkly incense and a coin bag. So that apparently, as far as I've learned, if we look here from this post from Adrian, he says the Pokemon Go one has been data mined. So that's three confirmed so far. If that is true, this might be a legitimate leak. Again, anything is possible here. This could be totally fake, and this person could be the luckiest son of a bitch in the world, and maybe just data mine information from those games, and then uses that data mined info to make it seem like it's real. I mean, that could be the case. It could also could be genuinely real. This might be a genuinely real leak, which, holy moly, if this is true. Now, you might be asking yourself, okay, but it's just a 4chan post. There's a bunch of these. It's not real blah, 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 etc. Listen to me. This is not the first time. When Legends Arceus and BDSP were being posted, this exact kind of post came out. When Sword and Shield was released, or sorry, announced, same thing happened. A guy posted it like a day before the actual presents. He posted a bunch of info that was confirmed. That was confirmed real. Um, that was the Ben Affleck leaker, for example. If you guys remember that, if you're, if you're old enough or you've been around for long enough, you will know the Ben Affleck leaker. Just a guy who posted a 4chan post, picture of Ben Affleck, and a bunch of this info. Um, so that's what I'm trying to say. It's like, please understand. As much as a bunch of these posts can be total garbage and fake, some of them are real. And this one is oddly specific. Um, and it does feel like it might be more on the side of real based on the fact that it's gotten three things correct so far. 
that haven't even been revealed during the that you know that haven't even been revealed during the presents yet, but just in general. Um, and oftentimes these things do get announced like a day ahead of time, a day before the presents, and then they just keep talking about them again during the presents. Like for example, if it's a Cafe Remix update, it's a Unite update or a Pokemon Go update, they just get like a mention or, or whatever, and they talk about it during the presents, but it's already been announced before. Um, so yeah, it is it is strange. It is really really strange because uh, this was posted on the 26th of February at 23:25. Um, you know, at night. So I and, and again, uh, poor leaks shared this today on the twenty seventh. So you know, anything is possible. These could just be easily super easy guesses and just super lucky. Um, but let's continue through the rest of the post, which says, "Pokemon Nintendo Switch Online, Pokemon Red, Blue, Plus Yellow are being added to Nintendo Switch Online." This is something we will have been speculating about. They're working on Pokemon Stadium and home compatibility. That would be sick. And then Game Boy games are also available um, to buy separately. I'm guessing he's, he means Game Boy Advanced games because red, blue, and yellow are also Game Boy games. I'm guessing he's trying to say GBA games, right? Game Boy Advanced games is what he's trying to say. Uh, would be available to buy separately. So I'm guessing that's Fire Red, Leaf Green, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, right? Then he says Pokemon Home. Scarlet and Violet Home compatibility available next week. Sounds about right. They should be putting that out right about now. So... Again, seems reasonable. Um, going on to the next thing, which is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet 7-star raid. Surfing Pikachu and Insuian Decidueye raids. Okay, again, sounds pretty reasonable. Sounds pretty good. And then Pokemon Scarlet and Violet DLC Holiday Tour Pass. Okay, so this is what it would be called. Holiday Tour Pass, which is... I already speculated. I said this, that I do think that a part of, like... The DLC is going to be some kind of vacation DLC, some kind of holiday DLC. I talked about this. I speculated on this, given the fact that, like, the, the, you as the player in the game are a student, and you always have to wear your student uniform as you're exploring the world. So, you know, basically while you're in Paldea. So the only time you would get to take it off is if you're on, not on... You know, being on duty is not the case, right? Because you're not an employee or a soldier or something. You're just a student. But, you know, you're not in school at that point. You might be going on a vacation, so you can wear any outfit you want. And that's how they would introduce new, new, you know, customization and stuff. Um, but, and also, I have a bunch of other theories about that. But either way, two parts. The Golden City and The World Awakens. Those are the two names, apparently, according to this. Themes are Wishes and Adventure. June 23rd and November 23rd. Ooh, June. Uh uh, sounds about right. That would be that's this, around the same time when uh, the Crown Tundra, no, sorry, the Isle of Armor came out, and then Crown Tundra was, of course, in November. You get to explore northeastern Paldea, where a land of bounty awaits. Okay, that sounds correct uh, <laughs> about where it's supposed to be. Hunt the Mirages, Storm Chaser S, and Iron Sickle V. Soothe the restless uh, Terrascalpa uh, and the Sublime Pokemon. Wait, the Sublime Pokemon. So would that be the the brand new? third legendary. Uh, and then there is the biggest thing, okay? So the DLC stuff, uh, some people have said that the Storm Chaser doesn't sound like a legitimate name. Again, they don't always do one-to-one -one translations from Japanese, because the Japanese name that we've heard from a legitimate leaker, aka Ridlaku, I think, uh, doesn't really match, apparently. But um, please do remember that sometimes they do nick like give the them weird nicknames or change the names a little bit, um, and they sound different in English than Japanese. But again, I, I digress. It doesn't really matter. One last thing that the person includes here is this. New concept, he says at the bottom, Pokemon Electrum. It's a new concept, 2.5D, okay? Reimagining of the Johto games, spring 2024. Oh, oh my dear Lord. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but this, if this is real, I am so hoping that this is real. I am so hoping, okay? I'm, I'm hoping in the deepest parts of my heart, I'm hoping I am so hoping this is real. I'm hoping this whole thing is real. If this was like 2.5D, it would look like, I don't even know how to explain it, a little bit like Generation 5 in style, in graphics, I guess you could say, or something like, uh, I forget what that game is called. There's this one very popular uh, Nintendo Switch game uh, that really did well. Uh, it's like an RPG and it's in 2.5D. You guys can comment down below which one I'm talking about. You probably know. <clears throat> it's like super popular. It's getting a second version as well. But... This would be so sick, man. If we get a 2.5D reimagining of Johto, just think about how freaking cool that would be, man. That would be genuinely, genuinely cool. Um, I don't know what to say, man. I don't know. This honestly sounds amazing. I'm not gonna lie. This just sounds amazing. This genuinely sounds awesome. So again, keep in mind, 
this could be fake. Please, please, please put this into your brain. I have so many people that like that will hear this stuff and instantly run, run, run with the wind and assume that it's real. Um, but please remember, this could all be fake. I'm just sharing what's being told out there. So again, please keep that in mind. This could all be BS. But the fact that we, for example, have uh, three hours ago confirmation that Pokemon Unite's latest update is now available to download adds many features, including a Pokemon Day event, including the addition of Zacian as a playable character. So that was confirmed. And if you go here to Cerebi and you look at some of the, the stuff that's happened, uh, you also have like... Uh, the game sound library has been updated with Pokemon Red and Blue music for a limited time, as well as the return of the Diamond and Pearl sound library. So that's also very, very, very strange. Um, in addition to that as well, this Pokemon Cafe Remix has received an update with the various Paldean Pokemon being added to the game in the near future. This was posted three hours ago as well. So my point is simply this. The fact that these two things were already confirmed yesterday, okay? Yesterday this was confirmed in this post means that this this might be legitimate. This might be real. If it is real, holy shit, we're getting a 2.5D reimagining, re remake of sorts, something like that, of Johto next year. Which, actually, I kind of already predicted we're going to get a Johto game next year. I already said that, but I just didn't know what kind of Johto game. That was the kind of problem. We didn't really know where they would go with it. A 2.5D game, though, holy shit, I wonder what that's going to look like. And also, I wonder how that's going to work, because if it's 2.5D, what does that even mean in terms of the battles and stuff, because every Pokemon battle so far now has been these battles that are in, what you call it, in 3D, right? All the models they use are in 3D. So how would that even work is my question. Uh, but this is some of the, this is the big, this is the one that most likely is real, okay? This is the one post that most likely is real. I mean, even the Pokemon Go event was data mined, which is crazy. So this is the one that seems the most realistic. However, there is two other posts that I thought would be fun to go through, which were also posted on 4chan yesterday. So let's take a look at them. First one is this one right here, which says the following, uh, and I'm gonna, it, the text is on the bottom, so sorry if you guys can't really see it. I'll move it up here so you guys can also read it if you want to. But it basically says, here before the presents tomorrow, so if you don't like leaks, skip this. Pokemon ulti Ultimate Mystery Dungeon, including a new friend mechanic and new battle system. Pokemon Switch and Rumble, and uh, and new Nintendo Switch Pokemon Rumble with two players in mind using Joy-Con each, but game can be played in one or two player online. All right, Pokemon Legends Curum, followed by Pokemon Black and White Remix, Black and White 3, Nope, not real. Pokemon Remix updates and Pokemon Go updates involving Go uh, Golden Go, which, um, yeah, we already kind of know that now, I guess. That, that Yeah, that's an accurate one. Trailer ends off with a sneak peek at the Pokemon Catch'em All collection for Nintendo Switch with all Pokemon games up to GBA. No DS games found in the files. This one's BS. I'm going to tell you right now. This one's BS because the problem with this one right away is Pokemon Legends Curum not happening. I feel like people have this over, over exaggerated expectation now. Like, because of Legends Arceus. People just assume that, oh, now... Like, people either assume that they're not going to do enough or they're going to do too much. Just because... Okay, listen, please, let me explain this. Just because Legends Arceus and BDSP were both announced at the same time, that doesn't mean we're going to get black and white remakes this year. Chill, okay? Please calm down. We're not going to get black and white remakes this year. This year. We're not going to get that. It's impossible. It doesn't make any sense. Because even though they released Legends Arceus and BDSP, it still followed, okay? It still followed the release schedule that they've been doing for a decade now, okay? Which is usually every, like, I guess what would it be? The, the odd numbered, um, you know, the, the, equ the, the, the equally numbered, like, I guess, uh, generations are when you get remakes. And the odd numbered is where you don't get it, right? So, for example, like, look at it like this, okay? Generation 6 had a remake. Generation 7 didn't. Generation 8 had a remake. Generation 9 will not have a remake. Generation 10 is going to have a remake. That would be black and white. So that's going to be not now. So next year in 2024, we're going to get some kind of Johto game, uh, something just to keep us busy until whatever's coming after that. So which in, which in 2025, uh, it's crazy to say this, but sweet mother of God, in 2025, it will be three years since the release of Scarlet and Violet almost, right? Because Scarlet and Violet came out in, you know, 2022. So yeah, 2022, three years later in 2025, that's going to be the three-year cycle of Scarlet and Violet done. So next generation should come out at that point, right? This generation is the third year generation, right? Or third year uh, release year, right? Which is when you get a third version game or what they've changed it to now is like, you know, DLC, DLC instead. 
That's what you get instead. Then the third year of the of the this generation of the ninth generation is when you're expecting something, you know, something else, like either no game or something different, you know. And in this case, if you haven't noticed, they've started to remake the old games going back, right? So what they're doing is they either make a Legends type game, which is what they did with BDSP during that, you know, during generation eight kind of release cycle. They did like the, the remake stuff, blah, 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 all that. But this time around, they're going to make a reimagining of Johto, I would hope. Like some version of Johto. Maybe it's not going to be that leak we saw earlier. Maybe it's not going to be this stuff we, that we covered. Maybe it's not going to be anything like this. You know, nothing like this. It could be something totally different. It may not be Pokemon Electrum. It might be something totally different. But the thing is, it's going to go like this. And I'm going to basically map out what you should expect going forward. And when you can see Black and White Remix, it's going to be like this. 2023, this year, is going to be definitely 100,000% DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, okay? That's guaranteed this year, because that's what they always do after a, a big generation comes out. The year after, they do a third version, or nowadays, like I said, DLC are replacing the third versions. So, 2023, you're going to see DLC this year. Next year, a Johto game. Why am I saying a Johto game? Because Johto hasn't had a game in, in well, well over a decade at this point. But also, it makes sense because they're now trying to, since Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, they're trying to kind of remake and redo the old generations again to get the nostalgia, but also so they can have a game released next year. Because what else are they going to release? They have nothing else to release. You might say, oh, but black and white remakes. No, because again, the black and white remakes, they have to match up with the 10th generation, not the 9th, because they already did remakes for the for the 8th generation. So we have to wait. Usually you have to wait a generation before you can get it again. So 2023 DLC. Next year, Johto game. 2025, that's generation 10. 2026, that generation 10 DLC. 2027, black and white remix. Skadiddle, skadaddle, okay? 2027, okay? 2027, that's when you're gonna get black and white. Not now. I'm just, I wanted to point that out because people will go crazy about it. And I just want to make sure that it's clear. Either way, next thing, DLC leak two. Megas are back and some of them get nerfed insanely hard. You get stones from uh, from Porto Marina, uh, Marinada auctions, nerfs that are coming. Mega Gengar loses shadow tag, gets special attack and speed nerf to the point where it's the same as base Gengar, but keeps defense boosts from the Mega. Parental Bond now no longer procs additional effects on second hits, and Mega Mens, uh, me um, well, okay, Mega Mens no longer gains an attack or speed boost upon Mega Evolving. Just the defense boosts, and the, spe uh, the physical defense boost only raises it to 110. Yep, the OP Megas got absolutely effed. Also, DLC isn't in Kalos, but you got, uh, got Mega Evolution back, so cope. Either way, this one, of course, I would assume is fake, but it does sound pretty funny, so I thought I would include it for that reason. And then finally, we have this one right here from Light, which is just kind of an interesting little thing he found, which is AZ actually, uh, there was actually a reference to Glamora uh, back in Pokemon X and Y. Um, in order, so basically, AZ took reference to the Glamora in order to do the definitive weapon. Remember, there was a whole of uh, as a whole of unknown time where probably AZ went into the crater of Paldea and studied uh, and studied the depths uh, depths this Pokemon and the terrestrial energy. Tomorrow we will know it. And basically, down here it says the ultimate weapon is reborn. A poisonous flower has bloomed. Um, and then, if you look at Glamora, is a uh, petals are made of crystallized poison energy. It has recently become evident that these petals resemble Terra jewels. So yes, it is highly possible that these are connected, which uh, seems right about the case. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it. Uh, again, I want to just kind of emphasize uh, that action, you know, that one that seems like a real leak, the first one we talked about. Again, please remember, nothing is guaranteed. And also, I could be totally wrong. You know, listen, if I'm wrong and there is Generation 5 remakes announced today, shit, I, I, you know what? At that point, if they announce that, there's no way we could ever predict anything ever again for Pokemon. If that is the case then we can't do any more predictions. We literally cannot do predictions because it's impossible to know what they're doing. The reason we've been able to know what they're doing for these years and we've been able to, generally speaking, predict the path they're going is one very big thing. They've done it in patterns, right? And I'm going to explain these patterns again for those people that don't understand them just really quickly. For those who don't want, don't want to know, it doesn't matter. But either way, Pokemon pattern follows follows like this, okay? And this has been going for a while now. Uh, is that it, and It's especially been consistent now since 20... 2014, 2015, 2016, around that time. But basically what they do is, is that they will do this. They will have a brand new generation. And depending on if it's if, if the generation is an is a odd numbered or even numbered, right? If it's if it's an even numbered one, then usually that is when you get a remake. If it's an odd numbered one, you don't get it. So for example, like let's start back all the way from generation four, right? Generation four was a even numbered 
as far as I'm aware. I, I could be totally wrong about what even number and odd numbered you know numbers are, but it was an even numbered generation, generation four. There you got the remake of Gen 2, okay? Generation 5 comes out, there is no remake because it is a odd numbered generation. Then in gener so basically there, all you got was just a second version of black and white with black and white 2. Okay, generation 6 comes out. It is a even number generation. So you got a remake of the next thing that needed to be remade, which was Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, okay? Generation 7 comes out. You get no remakes. There is no remakes there. Technically, though, you could call Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee because that's when they started doing these, like, uh, secondary remakes, right? Like Let's Go Pikachu and whatever. That's when that started in Generation 7, right? Because as much as you want to deny it, Gen 7, as far as I'm aware, is... Sorry, uh, Let's Go Pikachu Let's Go Eevee are part of Generation 7. As far as I'm aware, that's what they are. Either way, Generation 8, BDSP. You get the remakes of BDSP. Generation 9, there should be no remakes, at least no, like, remakes that follow that pattern, but instead, you might get a Johto reimagining, or a version of Johto, like, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, were not technically a remake of Red and Blue, those were a remake of, as far as I'm aware, what they said was, like, a reimagining of Yellow, that's what they called it, right, it was like a reimagining of Pokemon Yellow, not Pokemon Red, Blue, Fire Red, Leaf Green, none of that, no, it was, it was, it was Yellow, it was just Yellow, it was a reimagining of Yellow, so what you can expect here is, you know, this Johto game might be a reimagining of specifically Crystal or some, or like a reimagining of Heart Gold and Soul Silver, something like that, right? So Generation 9, that's what you should expect. Generation 10 is when you should expect the black and white remakes, because again, it's it just following the pattern they've been doing for years, and we've been correct so far, okay? Legends Arceus was a, a ha Hail Mary, okay? And that one doesn't count because it's just this weird additional game, right? It's not like like, think about this. It released in the same year as the Scarlet and Violet games, you know, like the mainline games. So it was just kind of like a test game, so to say. And they will definitely do more of that. But again, we don't know if that's going to be the case. We might have seen the last we'll ever see for Legends games. Like, we might have seen that's it. What we saw was it. There might not be anything more. Keep that in mind. That's very possible. But we'll have to wait and see how it all turns out. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be seeing you on Ruffle Rally. We're going to be live streaming today. My reaction and all that sort of stuff to the Pokemon present. So come and watch. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.